let's uh, shift the conversation to uh, South Sudan, the newest uh, uh, country. One could argue that uh, it's perhaps uh, the newest country to be independent uh, from the rest of uh, from the rest of the world. Uh, but they are also facing a lot of challenges. So for them, uh, independence might not necessarily mean the pursuit of happiness, uh, uh, freedoms. Uh, uh, it means something else. It means war. It means misery. Uh, your thoughts on that? You are right. But as an ideal, it still means something. It is something that they are working towards. They may not have attained it now. They may not have gotten it right now. But it is something they are looking forward to. And it is something that they must work for in order to attain it. As it were right now, there are obviously very few individuals, frankly, who enjoy the benefits and the fruits of political independence in South Sudan. We can talk about the president, Sarvakir, for example. We can talk about his vice president, first vice president, Riyak Machar, second vice president, Igam, and ministers, ambassadors, and what have you. Those, to a certain degree, have had some, you know, they have enjoyed some benefits of independence. But if you ask me about an ordinary South Sudanese, what do they think about independence? I don't think it, may, it, it really has yet to mean anything much to them other than perhaps prolonged misery. Because, mind you, that country, which was part of Sudan, the, it has actually been under war for the last 50 years. So a lot of people so far have not gotten a break as yet. Mm -hmm.